Welcome to the Appliance Show. Jonathan here, Colonel's Appliance Dude. Okay, gonna do another color commentary piece here on another kitchen. This one for my bud, Larry, and his wife, Wendy, in Eastchester, New York, okay? Uh, old high school friend, for, uh, fellow Fordham Prep Ram. Uh, Larry's one of my old buds, and uh, they wanted to um, um, put a beautiful kitchen together. Um, they had you know, a couple of ideas. They wanted to, you know, they were kind of going, they were iffy about certain products. This much they knew. Wendy absolutely, absolutely had to have a 48 inch Wolf dual fuel range. They entertained the prospect of a gas range initially, uh, the Wolf, but even with the, you know, they, they took, they considered the fact that the dual fuel is more expensive, whatever. She wanted self-cleaning, she wanted the electric oven, and just loved the way it looked. Loved the control panel that pops out. So, the basically, the first decision was made. We're rolling with a 48-inch dual fuel range. Boom. Okay, the Wolf. From that point, they made some other decisions that kind of just like cascaded down from there. They wanted to do, and actually they took it upon their designer's uh, advice to hide the hood. They didn't want a lot of stainless in here, unlike the prior kitchen that I just discussed. So what they did is, as many people are, they got an insert, they got a cabinet insert, did the Best Buy Brown. I think it's a PIK45, I'll have to double check that. Um, so put that right over the 48 inch dual fuel range. Got a Bosch dishwasher in there, Panel did. Um, they also, what else did we do here? Now here's where, here's, here was like, this was like the, uh, I don't want to say the controversy, but this was the point that, you know, uh, there was just a lot of back and forth about this. What to do with the refrigerator, okay? Um, you know, they wanted to take advantage of the Sub-Zero Wolf promotions, so um, obviously they have the dual fuel range, team that up with the 42 inch Sub-Zero. I explained to him quite clearly, you know, I articulated the point as to why the Sub-Zero is head and shoulders above all other refrigerators, talked about the air filter system, talked about the just the make, the construct, the heritage, dual compressors, etc, etc, etc. But for their budget, they really wanted to blow it out on the, on the range and this, they were going to take a step back with the fridge. So the other point is that they also wanted a French door. And as we all know, Sub-Zero does now have a 36-inch French door refrigerator. Actually, it's supposed to be released this June. And they are working on a 42. Well, months ago, when this kitchen went down, um, obviously the only, the only choice they had for a 42-inch French door was the KitchenAid, KitchenAid Architect 2 series. So what they did is they bought the KitchenAid fridge, paneled it up, Okay, and uh, saved a bit of money there. Also went with some under-counter KitchenAid units, a wine unit, a beverage center, put those in another part of the kitchen, and they were off to the races. Um, you know, so to this point, this is a kind of like a unique situation because most people nowadays are doing the package in order to take advantage of the rebate, whether it's the Sub Wolf or it's the Monogram or the Viking or whatever the case may be. In this case, they want a la carte. They knew they had to have that wolf range, but everything else just didn't make sense to them. So they kind of they did the a la carte job, and they're very, 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 very happy with it. Um, again, they kind of like debunked the certain trends that are going on right now, and uh, more power to them. They absolutely love, love the dual fuel range. Wendy's just completely rocking on. I went there to take some pictures, and just you know, again, they've had a few people over, had some parties, and it's just you know, the wolf, you know, the wolf dual fuel range is just like you know, it's just like you know. It's just something people gather around, a lot of questions. Yes, it just makes such a statement with the red knobs. We all know that. Um, so this, again, was, was a great kitchen uh, and, and, and somewhat unique. It's going to be interesting seeing what happens as Sub-Zero does roll out the 36 and eventually the 42 French door and they see how those KitchenAid sales are actually impacted because KitchenAids kind of have that space all to themselves recently. Um, so, uh, you know, Sub-Zero's coming in, boys, batting down the hatches.